Hello everyone. In this video, I will guide you how you can manage your production process on Transact. So first of all, let us go to our production module. So on your left hand side, you will see production module option. Please click on this. Now, once you will come in production module, so this is our production dashboard where you will be able to get each and every detail like these are all the list of production processes which are created you can see uh, all the details like process number stage bomb uh, bomb number fg item id fg name so uh, let me start from the very beginning so before you go ahead and create any production process you need to create bill of material so here is our bill of material segment from this you can go ahead click on create bom and can define a new bom so BOM is required as because the entire process will uh, run on your bill of material and as per the consumption. So bill of material is just like a recipe of any production. Now, after creating the bill of material, so uh, I will show you one of my bill of material which I have created. So this is one of our bill of material which have been created. Please check here. You need to define the finished good. Then after uh, the raw materials which will be required, alternate item as well, you can add multiple multi-level of bill of material also you can go ahead and attach you can define the routing you can define the scrap and other charges are there you can click on produce fg directly and can uh, generate the finished good by consuming the raw material now coming to the next phase which is how you can go ahead and manage your production now so suppose bill of material is created after that you need to create the production process so on transact there are two type of production processes which you can create one is make to order second is make to stock so how make to order will work so once you will create an order confirmation at that point of time a work order will get generated so here is our work order segment you can go in work order and here you may uh, you will see that uh, uh, as per the order confirmation all the material are there so you can select any of the work order and can click on start one process so please check once i clicked on this particular uh, work order the BOM is auto defined and then after I can go ahead and create a process from this. So this was for make to order. Now coming to the next phase, which is how you can go ahead and create a direct production process for make to stock. So you need to go in all production process here. You will get create new option. Click on create new. You need to define the item name. So I will define the needle ball select it and as per the bill of material each and every detail will come i will click on submit and the process will get created once i clicked on submit please check the entire process is created now in order to work on that process you need to click on publish and then after you can issue the raw material and uh, you can very well go ahead and mark the finished good produced and do the fg testing we do have separate videos for each and every segment of this now coming back here please check once the production process is created then after you will be able to see each and every list from production process uh, suppose this particular production process you want to send it for the job work you can very well go ahead and uh, just select this particular production process and can send it for uh, click on outsource and send it for job work as well so these are some of the features which will be very much helpful to you in order to manage your entire production process by showing consuming raw material and then after producing finished good uh, by handling your make to order or by going ahead and just creating a direct production process now you can very well go ahead and use our filters uh, to check the particular stages of the production and the status of production so this is how you can manage your uh, production on transact have a good day.